next topic. So Kaya, Kaya, my neck, my back, my and my Kaya. You know, she was talking about some her crack back before Sexy Red was talking about her booty hole brown. You had Kaya back then talking about her neck and her back, her crack. <laughs> I remember that song came out when I was like, I want to say like elementary school. I want to say elementary school or like first year of middle school. But anyway, Kaya has been in the news more so recently because she said that she's pretty much different from Sexy Red and Suki Hana. Kaya was basically like she didn't influence a Sexy Red and Suki Hana. Kaya says that she's different. So let me present what Kaya said. She, now she said something a few days ago, and uh, Sexy Red responded. Suki Hana responded. But uh, let me find this. Where is it? Uh, where is it? All right. So here it goes right here. Listen to this. So go, and, and if you look in the corner, it says Suki Hana. So I'll knock Kaya the fuck out. But look at this. All right, so that's what Kaya had to say. Very potty mouth Kaya, all right? Now, do you agree that she didn't influence a sexy red or a sexy red and Suki Hana and everybody that's out right now had nothing to, she ain't had nothing to do with that. Now, she's right and she's wrong at the same time. What she's right about is back then, during that time, even though her music was provocative or that song in particular was provocative, was nasty, was sexual, hypersexual, right? You didn't see Kaya twerking on stage or at the red carpet. More importantly, at the red carpet, at the BET Awards and MTV Awards, dressed in a certain type of way. You know, her song came out. It was raunchy. You know, she had some ratchet in her, but it, it and it was sexual. Like Trina, you had like Rashida, you had different women out back then who were doing that. However, it was more class, I would say. Like she said, like my hair be wrapped up. Um, you wouldn't see me, no, no sex tapes leaked out of me. You wouldn't see um her twerking, like I said, on the red carpet, looking what Suki Hana and them doing. You didn't see Kaya doing all that image-wise. Now, if you're talking about content. What's the difference between my neck, my back, and then uh, Sexy Red song, Pound Town? You know, Kaya's saying what she wants a man to do to her orally, you know what I'm saying, sexually. And then Sexy Red's pretty much doing the same thing. So and with Suki Hana, they're, they're, all of them are talking about sexual content. So the content was there. However, the difference is, I guess, the image. Now, of course, Kaya was ratchet. Trina was ratchet. They were sexual. Lil' Kim was sexual. Foxy Brown. But the female rappers of the 90s and the early 2000s carried themselves different than the Sexy Red and the Sukihana. See, Sexy Red and Sukihana feel like they do the shit just for shock value. Shock value first, music last. I don't even think people take Sukihana serious when it comes to rapping. They take Sexy Red serious, but, you know. Uh, so that's why I'm like, halfway I agree with her, halfway I don't. Kaya did, you know, like my neck, my back, that was played on the radio, just like wet ass pussy. WAP was played on the radio. So uh it was one of the sexual songs at that time. However, you know, uh, if you look back at that video, from what I can remember, I don't think she was uh 
you know, she was just kind of laid back, wasn't doing too much. But like I said, I've never seen Kaya out doing the stuff that Suki and Sexy Red was doing and no sex tapes leaking and all that other stuff. So I guess that's what Kaya was talking about. Now, Sexy Red responded and um, called her washed up, you know, the whole I'm young, you old type of thing, right? And I would play Kaya's response, but I'm trying to make some money off of this video, honestly. <laughs> and kaya went in so if you get a chance you can go to youtube and check out um what kaya's response was or go to social media she was cussing so much but she was going in talking about some i ain't never had my wet i mean my my vagina all dry no dude having sex with me with my dry vagina talking about sexy red talking about some she ratchet and pregnant dirt like i can't even say everything that she was saying because she was saying it so fast that she was going the fuck off you know what i'm saying so so yeah kaya went in on sexy red i hope sexy red don't try to respond because i don't think that sexy red will want a verbal battle with kaya i don't think you want no smoke with kaya when it comes to a verbal battle now musically uh i don't choose kaya or sexy red whatever you know at least kaya was on beat you know what i'm saying at that time but um but that's interesting but let me know in the comment section how do you feel do you think that Kaya influenced a Sexy Red or a Sukihana? I think that, yeah, Sexy Red was influenced by the Kayas, the Trinas, the Rashidas. Who else? Um, the Lil' Kims. That raunchy sexual music has been around for at least 30 years since Uncle Luke been out. However, you know, when it comes to what's presented in the forefront, you could tell that sexy red is being pushed down our throats because she says the most nastiest stuff you could think of there's no type of talent there's no type of skill set it's like what can i say that's going to be the most ratchet not even just in music but just in media in general you know i got stds and you know my pussy pink and all this other shit it's like that's all she talks about so i feel kaya a little bit but then i don't but i want y'all to see the response that kaya did uh to sexy red she read she as they say, read her to pieces, read her to shreds. Very interesting. Very interesting. Also,